Were you aware that the majority of cardiovascular events occur in individuals who are classified as low or intermediate risk based on assessment of traditional risk factors? The growing consensus among preventive cardiologists is that non-invasive imaging of subclinical atherosclerosis can help to improve cardiovascular risk assessment in these individuals. As shown here, Jack and Joe have the same profile of cardiovascular risk factors. Let's see how their physician uses carotid ultrasound examination as his method of choice for non-invasive imaging of subclinical atherosclerosis to better define their risk. Using the Panasonic Cardio Health Station, the doctor quickly scans Joe's carotid and finds atherosclerotic plaque in his left carotid artery. Also, in the longitudinal view, the wall thickness, or IMT, of Joe's carotid artery is higher than other men of his age and ethnicity. Now let's take a look at Jack's exam. Good news! The doctor scans Jack's carotid and does not find any plaque. Jack's IMT looks good for his age. Based on these results, the doctor now realizes that Joe is at a higher risk than originally thought based on his risk factor profile and may warrant a more aggressive treatment of his risk factors. I believe in imaging in risk assessment because we know that using risk factors alone uh, is not enough to find the people who need treatment. Most heart attack and stroke occur in people that has an average level of risk factors. So we need to do more to find those at high risk. I think the fundamental issue of um, I examining a vessel that's in three dimensions and the plaque that develops inside it, which is also in three dimensions, um, is going to stay no matter what technology you use unless you happen to use a three-dimensional technology which I think is the ultimate way of really evaluating the amount of disease. It is my impression that a multimodality approach would be uh, advisable and preferable. Multimodality by both biochemical biomarkers as well as imaging. It is my impression that imaging may only add to the effort and to detect atherosclerosis early. Thanks to uh, Texas legislature and the governor of Texas, uh, our state is the first to uh, recognize the importance of uh, preventive screening for cardiovascular risk assessment and ultimately prevention of heart attack and a stroke. So ultrasound of carotid arteries is uh, very popular in uh, Germany because the physicians, uh, in particular the cardiologists noted that in addition to risk factor assessment, something uh, new has to be done in order uh, to get a better risk assessment. 